If you are at the bleeding edge of classic gaming, then you've heard of Mister, the open source FPGA based emulation platform based on the fundamental goal of hardware accuracy. Mister already has tons of cores spanning 8 to 32 bit consoles, home computers, arcade games, and more. In this series, I'll feature one FPGA core every day for the next 21 days to ring in the new year. And today I'm talking about the Sega Master System Core, which, through its evolution, came to load Game Gear games as well. This is another really cool core. It has a bunch of contributors, mainly Swordslig, the Flynn 49, Gierko, Grey Rogue, and then some minor edits by Kindrix and Enforcer. This core has an autosave feature that's really nice. It also has a remove the sprite limit option, which makes games like R-Type particularly nicer to play, there's a lot less flicker. You can turn that on or off. It's limited to 8 by default. It sports FM sound, multi-tap, and you can define your own BIOS for the Sega Master System. And this is another one where a Sega Master System is hard to RGB mod, and I believe that even once you do, there's really no way around the uh, jailbreak issue. But we don't have that limitation on Mr. Everything looks gorgeous, and once you get your favorite filter set up, it looks really nice and sharp on a big TV. Or you can take analog out through the I.O. board or through a direct video option straight to a CRT or PVM, which is how I prefer to play it. The picture is beautiful, and Game Gear games now play like a console. So the consoleized Game Gears are kind of expensive and fidgety. Uh, this is just basically extending the functionality of the Master System Core to Game Gear, so it's really simple. And you can turn on your LCD effects to get that really nice LCD look on a giant TV. And once again, it looks like a really nice LED mosaic or dot matrix type effect. It's very nice. And there's quite a few games to check out on the Game Gear, games you probably haven't encountered. So this gives you a chance to play them basically like an SMS game. I mean, the Game Gear and Master System share a lot. They're not quite as similar as people make them out to be, but the Game Gear, if you think of it as a new SMS or an SMS with extra games, that's not a bad way to approach it. My favorite game by far is GGLest, which is a nice shoot 'em up It's not too hard, really colorful, and everything just plays nice and smooth in it, and I'm sure that you can't see any of these details on a real Game Gear screen. But the Game Gear Shinobi game is also really nice, and there's a really good Shinobi for the Master System as well. I'm not too crazy about Sonic, but there are some Sonic exclusives on both the Master System and the Game Gear. And maybe the best feature of Mr. for these Master System games is the fact that you can use whatever controller you want, so you're not stuck with that crappy Master System controller. I've been playing with the Xbox One controller lately, but you can play with anything your heart desires. The Sega Saturn Model 2 controller actually pairs really nicely with this one. Okay, so there's your quick look at the Sega Master System and Game Gear Core, two FPGA masterpieces on the Mister. Stay tuned for the next core in my New Year's Countdown, coming tomorrow. This video represents a snapshot of the core as it exists today, but by the time you're watching this in the future, it may have been improved or expanded with new features. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the latest Mr. Happenings, and ring the bell to be notified when I go live for a stream. If you like the channel, consider supporting it. Patreon support at any level gets you an instant invite to the Smoke Monster Elite Discord and early access to my videos. Thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it.